Hello, I am a very certified ballet expert, and this is your most comprehensive guide to ballet pantomime. Ballet pantomime is used to convey thoughts and words using movements or gestures. It is most often used in narrative ballets to further the plot and to assist the audience's understanding of the character's dialogue. The most common usage of mime, aside from the main characters, is the extras or scene-setting characters, including, but not limited to, the townsfolk, villagers, or royal subjects seen in the background of many ballets. The origins of balletic pantomime stem from a form of masked theater which existed in Europe in the 16th century, which later evolved and refined and was soon integrated into classical ballet to enhance the story and the dancing. There are many gestures in the ballet mime vocabulary, so in the instance that you are an audience member, here are a few important words to know. This is the balletic mime for dance, queen, beautiful, sleep, see, hear or listen, die or death, kill, promise, love, marriage. Now these are only gestures that are known to the general public. For professional elite ballet dancers, however, the vocabulary is far more sophisticated, going beyond mere single words into full sentences and paragraphs. You can commonly see this linguistic breadth in interactions between dancers, particularly those in the background. Here is a sample conversation of this concept in action. As you can plainly see, this allows dancers to convey a much wider variety of words and much more sophisticated and nuanced subject matter. Questions are most generally voiced with both hands. Who? What, when, where, why, how. As you can see, each and every gesture is beautifully diverse from the others. This diversity allows dancers to clearly communicate each sentence, even if positioned on opposite sides of the stage. Ballet is a silent art, so proper nonverbal communication is essential to your balletic social skills. Here is the proper way to ballet mime. Step one, look the person you are addressing in the eye to ensure that they are listening. Step two, make your gesture. Step three, look the person you are addressing in the eye again to ensure that they are still listening. If the person you are addressing does not respond, repeat step one with increasing emphasis until they take notice. If the wrong person gestures in response to your mime, disconnect eye contact immediately and try again with the appropriate person. If the person you are addressing suddenly leaves the conversation without reason, select one of two options. Option one, gaze out into the distance and continue miming to yourself. Option two, Simply cease all pantomime and return your hands to a comfortable position. This has been your most comprehensive guide to ballet pantomime. Next time you are at a ballet, pay attention and appreciate the interactions that happen outside of the spotlight. You never know what they might be saying. Thank you.
going great. <laughs> Promise, love, marriage, king, queen, oh, sorry, chainsaw, chainsaw. <laughs> kill. <laughs> Chainsaw. <laughs> Hello, I am a <laughs> cut. I need a chainsaw.